point out, normally we talk about movies that are opening today. Right. Because it's summertime, theaters are like, forget about it. I know, they open we're on We're releasing Tuesday movies like every day. So these movies that we're talking about, you can see them right now. Yeah. They got released Tuesday and Wednesday. Go uh, to a matinee. I mean, this week, it. yep, Tom Holland packs light in Spider-Man Far From Home, the high school hero. Uh, he goes on a trip to Europe where he just wants to, you know, hang out as Peter Parker, uh, flirt with Zendaya, of mm -hmm. course, out, outside the country. Yes. But of course, He's meeting up with a superhero friend, a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, and a new suit. And, of course, there's going to be a supervillain. Of course. Happening in this one. So, Spider-Man Far From Home, rated PG-13. Yeah, looks good. It does look really, really good. I've heard very good things mm -hmm. about it. So. And, and Spider-Man is one of my top superheroes. So really? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good I know, time. just after Batman, I know that's a whole other, like, that's <laughs> DC and Marvel, whatever. Right. We don't want to get into it. Are you allowed to like both universes? I guess so. Okay. I also like the St. Louis Cardinals and uh, the Kansas City um, Royals, so like there's two baseball teams that I like. I Is that a allowed? Yeah. I You're going to get in angry the, emails. One's in the AL and one's in the NL. I feel like I can do that. Okay, I think that's fair. Moving along, <laughs> the party never ends in Midsummer. Uh, fighting with my family star. Oof, sorry. You, you lost me. I'm Fighting so with sorry. my family star Florence Pugh is a woman on the verge of being dumped, but when she suffers a personal tragedy, mm -hmm. boyfriend for now, Jack Raynor, oh. invites her on a trip to Sweden. Mm -hmm. There, they attend a once in a century festival that turns the tranquil village into a hallucinogenic nightmare. Mmm, midsummer. Rated R. This one looks super scary and Does. creepy. And the music kind of helps with that. Mm hmm. So it looks music like plays a big part in uh, in our in our cinematic movies that we take. Yeah, in. I think so too. Yeah. All right. Well, here's some news from Under the Sea. The role of Ariel in Disney's live action remake of The Little Mermaid that's going to be played by Halle Bailey, not to be confused yeah. with Halle Berry. Thanks a lot, social media. Okay. <laughs> I was confused for a minute when I, I saw know, this story. I know. I know. Bailey is half of the musical duo Chloe and Hallie. Yes. The remake of Disney's 1989 animatic, 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 Anima animated classic will feature songs from the original <laughs> plus some new ones. Filming is, is expected to begin in 2020. Now, I said thanks a lot, social media, because people mm -hmm. were mixing up. Halle Bailey and, and Halle, Halle Berry, Berry yeah. and Halle Berry tweeted about the movie, but she was really congratulating Halle, and so people were confused and thought that she was the one playing the mermaid, but it's not. So, you know, I don't. Is casting complete? Because maybe there is a chance mm. that Halle Berry could find herself in a role in this one. I don't know. That would maybe. be fun, right? I don't think casting is complete. Uh, we know that Melissa McCarthy. I think they've uh, pinned her to play Ursula. Ursula. But I don't think they have like a Prince Eric or right. voices for like Sebastian or Flounder or King uh, King Triton. King Triton. Ooh, so I don't know. I know. You should try out. I should. I don't know. I feel like Jason Momoa has that down, right? Can he do that again in a different way? I don't I think know. So. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. That's exciting. I'm excited about that movie.